Everybody, welcome to Understanding Your Wife. Thank you for being here. Thanks everybody for being here. Here's the thing about women. We're not that complicated. <laughs> <clears throat> Quiet, please. That wasn't a joke. That was so, shh. Okay. We tend to struggle with saying what we mean in hopes that you will care enough about us to pay attention to the clues that we give you about how we're feeling, okay? And so today, what we're gonna do in this class is go over some of those clues. Pop quiz. If your wife were to say to you, hey babe, do you wanna watch a movie tonight? What would you say? You. I'd be like, sure, I don't care. See, this is, uh, this is the problem. Why? Because watch what happens. Wow. Okay. Like, if you were to ask me if I wanted to watch a movie, I'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah, babe, I'd love to. Because I actually love you. You're just like, mm, I don't care. When we ask you if you want to watch a movie, we want you to want to watch that movie with us. So, does that make sense to you guys? No? Okay. Well, let's keep going. <laughs> now, let's say you walk up to your wife, okay? You guys had a little bit of a tiff earlier. You walk up to your wife and you say, hey, babe, how you doing? And she says... I'm fine. Abort mission. She is not fine. <laughs> She's not even close to fine, actually. Then why would she say, because We need you to be in tune with our emotions. We need you to look into our eyes and see that we are clearly lying. We are not okay. And if you guys loved us enough, you'd be able to look into our eyes and see that. And there's a good chance it's your fault, okay? So try to think back throughout the day, week, month, maybe, at something you could have done to piss her off. Another common phrase probably used by your wife is this. What did you just say? Whatever you do, do not repeat yourself. You need to rephrase whatever you said, okay? Whatever it was, rephrase it in a nicer way. She heard what you said. She just needs you to fix your sentence. If you ever see your wife saying something like this, don't worry about it. Worry more than you've ever worried in your life, okay? By the time she gets to this point, she's probably already asked you to fix the knob on the bedroom door 10 times and you haven't. So now she's going to take care of it herself in spite of you. She's going to be filled with resentment for a couple of weeks and there's a good chance you won't be having any fornication for a very long time. So make sure you worry when she says don't. What it all boils down to is us women just want to be loved. We want you to care enough to investigate our feelings, right? I know you guys all like those crime shows. You know how they work really hard to solve the mystery? Same thing. We want you to work really hard to solve our mystery. I mean, that seems like a lot of work, doesn't it, fellas? What's a lot of work is having to smell your farts all day long while you guys crop dust us. Having to listen to your snores all night long as we lay in bed wide awake contemplating our existence. And second of all, sir, there is no sun in here. Okay, so why are you wearing your sunglasses? Can you please take them off? Joe, Joe, what are you doing here? Don't even think that I'm here, like, you know, to be in the class, because I understand everything about you. It's crazy, I could uh, probably teach this class. I understand you. I Listen, babe, I don't want you to be mad at me, okay? I don't, you look mad. Or no, 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 I'm not mad. You know what? Don't even worry about it, okay? I'm fine. Run.